Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to discuss a problem where it is given solve d square y by dx square plus 4 dy by dx plus 5y equal to minus 2 into cos xx. Let's rewrite this. This is capital D square plus 4d plus 5 into y equal to minus 2 and we have a hyperbolic function where the formula for cos xx is e power x plus e power minus x whole divided by 2. You can cancel this 2 and 2 and the minus sign is common. So we have to write d square plus 4d plus 5 into y equal to minus e power x minus e power minus x. Now as a first step we have to write the auxiliary equation where the auxiliary equation is m square plus 4m plus 5 equal to 0. The product is 5 sum is 4 we cannot factorize so we have to use the quadratic equation formula minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a. The value of a is 1, b is 4, c is 5. By substitution we get m equal to minus b. So minus 4 plus or minus root of b square 16 minus 4ac whole divided by 2a. So 2 into 1. So we get minus 4 plus or minus root of 16. This is minus 20. So we get minus 4 whole divided by 2. So this is minus 4 plus or minus 2y divided by 2. We are taking 2 common in the numerator. We get minus 2 plus or minus i divided by 2. So cancel this. So we get the imaginary roots for m is minus 2 plus or minus i. It is of the form alpha plus or minus i beta. So by comparison we get alpha equal to minus 2 and beta equal to 1. So the complementary function is e power alpha x into c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x. Now let's substitute the value of alpha is minus 2 and c1 into cos beta is 1 so it is cos x plus c2 into sin x. After that we have to write the particular integral 1. On the right hand side we have two functions one is e power x minus e power x so let's take particular integral 1 minus e power x divided by I'll write the quadratic equation d square plus 4d plus 5 so this is d square plus 4d plus 5 wherever the value of d is there you have to substitute the coefficient the coefficient for the c power is 1 so substituting d equal to 1 by substitution we get the numerator minus e power x as it is and we become 1 square plus 4 into 1 is 1 plus 5 totally we get 10 so this is minus e power x by 10 now coming to particular integral 2 minus e power minus x so we had two terms one is minus e power x, one is minus e power minus x. So we have to take minus e power minus x for particular integral 2. Then in the denominator, once again the same quadratic expression d square plus 4d plus 5. Now wherever the value of t is there, we have to substitute its coefficient, which is minus 1. So substituting d equal to minus 1. So that gives the numerator minus e power minus x whole divided by minus 1 whole square is 1 4 into minus 1 is minus 4 plus 5 totally we get 2 in the denominator so minus e power minus x divided by 2 after completing particular integral we have to write the complete solution the complete solution is y equal to complementary function plus p i 1 plus pi2. So y equal to 
complementary function is e power minus 2x into c1x plus e2 c1 cos x plus c2 sin x so e power minus 2x into c1 cos x plus c2 sin x plus pa1 which we have it here minus e power x by 10 so we will directly write minus sign here instead of plus minus e power x by 10 and pa2 is minus e power minus x by 2 